Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we'll be exploring the top tips for Evernote users. So if you are brand new here, it would be great to have you as a subscriber. Please do subscribe to Keep Productive because we do plenty of productivity tool reviews and also tutorials and guides just like this. It'd be honestly smashing to have you. So the first on our list is to actually create a task. Yes, you heard that right. Evernote have added the ability to add tasks to their platform, which is amazing. It's something that's brand new and something that I've actually wanted in the application for a while now. So number two is actually to create a notebook or notebook stack with a bunch of notebooks that are checklists because you can now start creating tasks with inside your notes. So for example, if you wanted to organize all of your regularly dated things as tasks, then you can have that now inside of a checklist notebook. So this might help you to organize and file any of those regular items, or even just having a little place for your tasks to live inside of Evernote. So number three is to customize your home. Now, if you didn't know, Evernote have released a new home, allowing you to customize it with widgets. Now you can go into customization details detail by moving each of the widgets around, even changing their size and removing any that you don't use. You can do a range of different things. This really helps you to customize and improve how you use Evernote and it also reflects on the mobile devices too. So number four, in the Mac version at least, you can go up to the top Mac menu bar and when you click the Evernote button, you can go down and capture a specific part of the screen or the whole screen. This is really helpful if you're trying to demonstrate something to someone and want to quickly send it in a note. You can capture that as a note and then send that on to somebody else. So a really neat little feature if you've missed that. Number five is the ability to show tags when you're in the notes preview windows. So for example, if you want to be able to scan all of the notes via, via the tags that you've created with it, this might be handy, especially when you're trying to do something quite fast and you've already had a great tagging system. So perfect for those who are really taking tags to the next level. Number six is to remove note counts. Now you can do this in the preferences section on Mac and Windows, but if you want to remove those note counts on the left hand side so that you don't see them in the sidebar, uh, just to make your account look a little bit neater, that's something you can do through the top um, in the preferences. Very small addition, but for those who have a very particular eye on design, this is going to improve it. Number seven is pin something to home. Now Evernote Home does allow you to pin a note to the home page, which is perfect if you're looking to have something that you routinely go to. For example, could be a checklist that you use every, every morning, morning affirmation, something like that. Or it could be an important report that you go to every single day. But this little pinning feature is definitely something a lot of people like in the new home experience. Number eight, something that people are sometimes a little bit afraid to do is add emojis to your notebooks. Sometimes this helps to bring the color out inside of your Evernote account and just make it feel more like home. So definitely recommend having a checkout of how you can add emojis to your notebooks. Number nine, if you're looking to find emails that you've captured into Evernote easily, they're on the home that you can now see um, an area where you can see recently captured. You can even scroll over to emails and see those emails that have been sent in. Now this is a premium feature. So you're sending emails through the Evernote email address that you get dedicated. However, really handy feature. And they've definitely been improving the way that emails work inside of Evernote in the last couple of months. So our final tip for you guys is number 10, and that is to change the background. You can actually choose from nine themes that make your background look a little bit nicer. You can see the lovely date at the top left with that one. However, you can actually add your own one. If you wanted a picture of your family up in the top, this is a nice addition. And if you pull down, you can actually see the whole image as well, which is really nice. And you could even use Canva or something like that to customize it a little bit more, making sure that it all fits in really nicely. Anyway, folks, hopefully you enjoyed some of these Evernote top tips and recommendations. Please do subscribe. It'd be great to have you. And if you wanted an article edition of this, this piece, then you can feel free to check that out below as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying today and uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.